Hello everyone, Colin Kinnett here for Woodwork Web. Today we're going to use these pieces of wood and make a little milking stool, a three-legged milking stool. The seat's going to be 12 inches in diameter, so I'm just going to do some rough cutting here and we'll glue it together and then we'll cut it out on the bandsaw. So if you look at the transition from the natural wood to where the tenon goes, you'll notice that there's a, a quite a cove in there. And I'll put it like that so you can see it a little bit better. There's a reason that I did that, that I wanted the wood larger here and that I wanted this cove. And that's because whenever you do chairs like this, if a leg is going to break, it almost always will break right at the where it joins the seat right about there and if you can make the leg a little bit thicker and put a kind of transition like that in there this helps to support the the leg so that even though this is a little bit thinner um, it it tends to help prevent it from cracking or breaking. It doesn't always do that, but it will help in that. So what I'm going to have to do when we get the seat made, which we're going to get to in a second here, um, I'll, I'll want to do a similar kind of transition on the bottom of the seat. Okay, I've marked off where I need to drill the holes and I'm drilling the holes now because it's easier to hang on to when it's a little bit bigger and especially when it's square uh, and we'll do the cutoff on the bandsaw after we've made the holes. Okay, I've moved over to the router table and I've installed a 3 8 roundover bit in there. And I'm going to use it for two things. I'm going to use it for the outside, so to round over the outside of the seat. And by the way, I've already done some sanding on that to make it uh, as smooth and as uh, even as I can. Then I'm going to use the same roundover bit and I checked it with the legs and it's about the closest one that I have that will match that cove that we've put into the legs. <laughs> Well, there's a quick look at what our little three-legged stool is looking like now. And, you know, sometimes you try things and they do or they don't work. And I don't know if I'm that crazy about these natural legs here. Anyway, I'm, we're going to finish this up. And the good news is I'm not going to glue any of these legs in. So we're going to be able to take them out and replace them with something later on if we want. But uh, we'll leave it for the time being. But that's not really the point of the video anyway. The point of the video is to show you how to do this. And the next thing we need to do is to cut some splines for all of our legs. I've put the legs back in and you can see that all the slots that I cut are now at right angles to the grain. 
Now I've also taken a few minutes to cut some wedges and I basically cut these by hand on the bandsaw and then just sanded them down. There's only three of them. And there's my first wedge that I've just trimmed off and all I need to do now is just tap that into place. I'm not going to use any glue. This is just, this is purely a friction fit. And I can see that it's actually spreading the top of that leg. And that's all I need to do with that. Move on to the next one. And the last one. There. Now that, I can't even twist those legs. That's good. It's barely moved a little bit. Okay, now the next thing I need to do with my little pull saw, I'm going to take a, off camera <laughs> so you don't have to sit there and watch all this. I'm going to take this and cut this off. Well, there's the top of our little milking stool. I think it looks great with the contrasting splines in there. You know, you could build this so that you can't even see the legs in there, but I like to see the legs so that it kind of shows how it was made. Uh, and it just adds a little bit of something to it. And because this is a decorative piece anyway, um, you kind of want to do that. And that's it for the little milking stool. I'm Colin Cadet for Woodwork Web. If you haven't already subscribed, we ask you to do that. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, follow us on Instagram. Uh, and don't forget to stay tuned because we've got lots more videos coming.